Hey guys, what's going on? Matt McQuinn here. Today we are going to take a look at how to build a list inside of Seamless AI and how to build that same list over in Coldlytics. And then you'll be able to see the results of both and choose which one looks like it's a better fit for you. Um, so we're going to use the criteria that we've used in other videos, which is looking for plumbing business owners in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Um, so it's a small little city. It kind of It's a unique area, which is why um, we're doing this. So I've ran this search already here, but we're going to show you how to do that. So let's come over to the filters on the left hand side inside of seamless. We're going to set this to C level and then under titles, we're going to put in owner and we'll come down a little bit further. Industries doesn't have plumbing as an industry. So what we have to do is actually scroll down here to keywords and we need to enter plumbing as a keyword. So we've done that. We've now said that we're looking for plumbing business owners, uh, but we need to set the location as to where we're looking. So locations here, we're going to twirl down the menu into Pennsylvania, LMNOP, here we go, and check the box for Allentown. And then we'll hit the blue search button down here. So very nice interface, very easy to navigate. You get results right away. I mean, you can see there's a lot of, uh, appears to be a lot of leads here. Um, so I've actually copied all this data. I've exported it and I brought it over and then I went through and, and filtered through it. Um, there were 15 leads that we found in total, um, but actually of those that had the correct email address that were an actual match in the location that weren't a duplicate, there were only two out of the 15, unfortunately. Um, so do with that what you will. Um, it, it did take a little bit of time to go through and clean this up. Um, I've ran a calculation if you were to, you know, value your time at $23 an hour and spend a half hour to go through and clean it, you ended up paying $6 for each of those leads of your own time, uh, plus the cost of, of seamless AI on top of that. Um, but it, at the end of the day, you know, it is a beautiful platform. It does work very well. It's just that the data wasn't super accurate, um, which happens in a lot of data platforms I've noticed. Um, and it, it just means that there's that added step of going through to clean it up afterwards. But it is nice that you get the data back right away. So we're going to pull the same list over in Coldlytics. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to log into our account here. We'll click on that new button at the top. And we'll start by setting how many leads we're looking for. So let's say we're looking for 100 leads. We'll go for one contact per company. Um, and we're going to come down into industries, put plumbing. And under job titles, actually, we'll just go right to seniority level and select owners and founders. And I'll get this out of the way here. Um, next, we're going to come down and we're going to use the Google Maps strategy for this. So we'll click on the blue text here to open up Google Maps. And we're going to do a quick search for plumbers in Allentown, Pennsylvania. So here we go. We've got a whole bunch of plumbing businesses in the Allentown area right here. You can see them all on this left hand side, which is fantastic. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go out and we'll collect the company information from Google. We'll, we'll scrape and data gather as much of this as we can. Um, and then we actually put a human research team on it. So we'll say, guys, go out and find um, as many of the owners of these companies as you can, and then find the email addresses for them as well. Um, so we're creating a fresh database from scratch for you using this method. And we're finding contacts that other people don't have in their database because we're doing fresh research. So your conversion rate is generally going to be better because you're emailing people that aren't in another database that don't just exist somewhere else where everybody has been selling to them. You're getting contacts that are, are much less marketed to than you would get out of a traditional database like Seamless or another platform. So let's take this link here. Oops. We'll take this link here and copy it. And then we'll come back over to Coldlytics and we're going to paste it right in here. We'll hit enter. And then in the additional notes section at the bottom, you know, may as well just put it in plain English for us. Um, looking for plumbing business owners in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And I'll correct my spelling. Perfect. We'll jump to the next screen. This is where things start to get fun. So these are the data points that you're going to get every time. Um, at a minimum, you'll get the first and last name, the company, 
the job title of that person at the company, their email address, and a link to the company website. <laughs> but if we twirl down this menu, uh, we can see that we can also provide you with the LinkedIn profile of that particular individual. We can get the address for the business split into the uh, city, state, zip. Um, we can get the phone number for the business or the direct dial for that individual. Uh, we can give you the Google review count, the Google review score, a uh, link to their Google business profile. We can even tell you if they've claimed their Google business profile, which is a really good thing to know if you're selling marketing services. Um, because if they haven't claimed their profile, um, then that generally indicates that they don't know a whole lot about online marketing. And so the way that you're going to communicate with that prospect is going to be different. Uh, if we come down a little bit further, we've got the company social media profile links. So Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, we can add all of those in there. Um, let's go to the next section. We're getting into advertising pixels. So Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, and TikTok advertising pixel detection. And if they have these pixels installed, this generally means that they intend to spend money on advertising, which if you're selling advertising services or PPC services, this is awesome, awesome information because um, it's a green light. It's somebody raising their hand saying, hey, we, we intend to spend money on advertising. Um, and if you can show us how to you know, convert more out of our advertising, then why wouldn't we say yes to your services? Um, so it's very, very valuable information here. We can tell you if they have Google Analytics installed. If you're doing SEO, this is a pretty good thing to know. Um, tells you, again, you know how, how educated that user is. If they don't have Google Analytics installed, chances are they don't understand SEO very well in the first place. So the way that you sell it um, is going to be different versus if they do have it installed, then you can you know speak to that. Um, we can tell you if they have an e-commerce function on their website. So if they have a checkout, uh, we can tell you if they're, if they're a word a WordPress <laughs> built site. Um, and then my favorite is page speed. So if you're selling SEO, this one's really cool because you can call out competitors. You can say, you know, Bob of Bob's Plumbing, I can see that, uh, you know, XYZ plumbing company um, in your city is loading in about three seconds. Your website took five seconds to load. And Google's actually looking for websites to load in two seconds or less, and it rewards websites that do that. Um, so we're, we're going to rank you higher as a result. You're going to get more organic leads as a result if we can get your website to load in less than two seconds. So very cool insight to have. Very powerful sales tool. Um, let's jump to the next page. We're going to give this task a name. We'll call it Plumbing Allentown PA. And then we'll start the task. And then what happens is within 24 hours, our human research team goes out and builds a list that looks like this. What we came back with was 21 leads, two of which came back as catch all during email validation. We highlight those in yellow. And what that means is that um, you can't find out if the email is valid or not until you actually send it a real email. So this falls under our bounce free guarantee. Any emails that you get from us that ever bounce, you can send us a message and we'll credit those back to you inside your account because you're never going to pay for a bounced email from Coldlytics. All the ones in white here in normal formatting, um, they have already been validated. So those are all emails that are valid, deliverable, ready to roll um, that we researched from the public domain um, within 24 hours. So we found 21 versus the two emails and it took you know a similar amount of time in the interface to put this list together. Um, and you can see all the contact information here. So if you guys have any questions or would like to maybe do a demo um, or a one-on-one -on -one call with me or ask questions about your target audience, what you can do is you can go over to coldlytics.com and you can hit this blue chat bubble on the bottom and it goes directly to myself and my co-founder, Richard, and I'll be able to help you out from here. So I'll be able to answer, answer any questions and uh, we can even do a live demo together. We can set something up if you're interested. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Have a fantastic day and happy lead hunting.